Okay, so in this video clip, we're going to implement uh, Tian 1993, uh, the binomial lattice framework for valuing uh, American options. Uh, and we're going to set that up in uh, VBA. So in previous video clips, which I'll leave a link to below the video, we set out Tian you model Tian 1993 using R, using MATLAB, using C++. Here we're going to take the VBA code. It doesn't execute in Google, Google Colab, of course, MATLAB or uh, C++ does, Python, of course, does. Uh, VBA, we've got to take the snippet of code out, set up in the Visual Basic Editor, and then implement in. So let's let's do that. Now I'm going to come down here to the um, VBA code. And uh, the original format here was based on a function set up by Espen Hogue. Um, I leave the link there, perhaps maybe we can visualize uh, based on this book here. Uh, you might, uh, when you get an opportunity, take a look at that book. It's a really excellent book with really comprehensive treatment of how to estimate uh, options and other financial instruments uh, using VBA for Excel. So we can't execute. If you execute here, nothing happens, right? Because it's not Python code, right? So it's, it's uh, there's no point trying to, to execute. You can't execute in this environment. You copy it and then you put it into the Visual Basic Editor. Okay, now the format follows extremely closely the um, approach set out by Espen Hogue. What we've changed here is the Tian parameters. So we've adopted these uh, relative to the Cox Ross Rubenstein tree. Now, uh, to set up Excel, let's open up Excel um, and we'll go into the developer tab. Now, maybe we can save this first of all. So file, save as, uh, browse, and I'll push just into my uh, desktop for convenience. Importantly, okay, we have to give it a name, Tian 1993, one, uh, nine, nine, uh, three, and I'll just say binomial. Um, key point to note, don't save it as an Excel workbook. You have to save it as an Excel macro enable workbook. So it's the second one down here. All right, and let's save. Then go into the developer tab. Now, normally here, you, you wouldn't have uh, any code at all. I have some code because I've opened up um, code from Espen Hogue, but this is the name of our. Uh, Excel spreadsheet, our Excel uh, macro enabled uh, workbook. I need to put in some code. So let's insert module and then we get a, a blank canvas and then we'll just go control V and our function now has gone in and then uh, we need to set out the parameters. I'll just make this a little bit bigger. So the parameter inputs uh, we're going to use here um, are going to be S, K, R. Now, following Espen's approach, he uses B. Uh, so B is R negative Q. So we don't explicitly put in a dip in yield. It's implicit in B, the cost of carry. So B is the difference between the risk free rate and then the dividend yield. We will need for this a volatility measure, so I'll say sigma. Um, and we need a time period, right? So maybe I'll just insert, I think it's about here, insert, shift cells down, should be a maturity date. And um, last then is the number of steps. Okay, so we'll say using Brody and the Temple values i'm going to run with for this option it's going to be an american call um we better insert again there will be two flags here um 
and one is we've got to decide is it a, a call or a put so we'll say c p and then here american or european right so those are calls we've got to make uh it's going to be a call option and it may need a capital c we'll figure that out as it goes as we go along and the a here for american t is three years risk free rate we're going to take as uh, three b is negative four and this is following broad the, the temple 1996 sigma is 20 percent and we're going to go with 500 steps now the reason why i selected these values if we go back to the collab for a moment, um, which is here, uh, we've been using these values up to now. So these are the values we've been using. I could just copy that perhaps. Uh, this was for a Python estimation. And I've also done that for um, MATLAB um, and Got the same result. Um, 90638 and for uh, R 9.0638. So we used R in this collab, which I'll leave a link to below the video clip. And uh, we have MATLAB, we have NumPy based on Nicola Cantarati, we have VBA here, and below we have C. And you can see we've been able to output in the collab 9.06 with those parameter inputs. Okay, so let's go back to Excel for a moment. Excel, and we just paste so that we can compare like against like. Now these were the values from uh, the Python estimation. So that tallies, it's the same, it's three years, it's 3%. Uh, risk free rate um, and we have negative four so dividend equal to seven so if the dividend was seven take that away from three that would be negative four correct volatility 20 percent okay so the name of our function if you recall was tian 19 so 93 tian and it auto prompts so just double click here then come up to fx and is it American or European? American. Is it, a, in fact, we can do it this way. It's a, an American option. Is it a call or a put? It's a call. What's the stock price? It's 100. What's the exercise? It's also 100. What's the maturity? Three years. Uh, what's the risk free rate? 3%. What's the cost to carry? Negative four. What's the volatility? 0 0.2. And then the number of steps is 500. Okay, so let's uh, run that, see what we get. And it takes a little while. Okay, so I suspect here I possibly should refer to this. There should be an inverted comma. And okay, nothing. Let's try that again. Okay, and then last, then maybe it should be capital C. Okay, let's try. Okay, now if there's an issue like that, then uh, go back to our code and just make sure. Okay, so, uh, okay, it's this type of inverted comma. And um, what's the call? Okay, C. Okay, so C and A. Okay, so that's a simple fix. So it is uh, A. And then we have, in fact, uh, C. Written like this. Okay, now let's try again. And we didn't seem to estimate properly. Um, is there a problem? Okay, let's just pause. Okay, so it's just a simple fix. Change C to C and change A just to A. And then we get a value here of 9.06385.
which of course corresponds to the values we've obtained before. I, when we used um, uh, NumPy approach here, it was 9.06387. Uh, when we use MATLAB, 9.06388, so for these parameter inputs, same result. And for um, the R function, where we presented these parameters, we get the same output. And again, that's not too far away from uh, Brody to Temple 1996, 9.066 for these parameter values, K100, exercise 100, 15,000 steps, uh, maturity three years. Okay, so that's the Excel implementation based largely on Espen Hoag with some amendments to take account of the Tian model and the results we're obtaining uh, are the same as the other models. Other implementations using the other code for Tian.